Hey y'all, it's Sarah, and welcome back to my channel. Alright you guys, it's time to continue John's story. We've got a couple of people we have to meet, Seth, and I actually am very curious. You know, now that I think about it, I have never been spoiled with Red Dead 1. I just know the premise of it because of the ending of Red Dead 2. I don't know what this whole game is about now that I think I don't know where the story is gonna come in. So I am very much so curious to see how this is going to unfold. It's like watching a movie and I haven't even seen the trailer or I don't even know what it's about really other than it involves cowboys and characters I already met in a previous game. So let's go on ahead and unwrap this bad boy. Get away from me! Damn! You smell like a horse flat trap! What? I smell bad? Oh no. Wait, oh, it's pretty far. Oh wait, there's a stranger mission over here. We should go check that out. Oh, also, wait, don't I have like a bounty? I hope it didn't disappear. There we go. Oh, is that how I talk to them by pressing B? That's interesting. And I was going the wrong way. My bad. Yeah! Miss? Uh, this is the girl what from the train. Um, I'm thinking. Right? Or not? Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. Oh, yeah, she was on the train. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, yeah, Miss. Yeah, what are you doing out oh, here? Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. Okay. You're trying to move a mountain? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. What are I know you trying that. to achieve? I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care then. Help Jenny by bringing her medicine. Don't I have medicine? Wait, let me check out if I... There we go, I have. Give Jenny some medicine. There we go. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. <laughs> I was kind of worried about you, so I... Brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse mm -hmm. me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. Uh-oh. <coughs> 
We'll drink. Mm. We'll drink it. Will you come with me? Drink the medicine oh, now. I'm fine here, Mister. I, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. <coughs> I don't think she's gonna drink the medicine. Jenny's faith complete. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Let's go on. Let's go. To the other stranger mission then. I don't want to get in the middle of it. My honor might go down. I work too hard for my honor. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. oh. Let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo. Talking to the musicians. Okay. He's guessing. such a fine man. Peter. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Unless she's delusional. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go? I like how John Beast me? did that. <laughs> this <laughs> was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. <laughs> so you want me to go find your <gasps> Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Okay, well, we're near Armadillo already, so we might as well. Talk to the musician in Armadillo Saloon. Bastard! Buy to retrieve the stolen money. <laughs> nice. That was pretty easy. What you got on, your friend? Return the money to the shopkeeper. Come on. Oops. Hello. There you go. 
Here's your money. I think he's learned his lesson. Cause You're he's a real dead. American, Keep some of the money. You're a pay. real American. Aw, thank you. Okay, wait, I think this purple one is the same. Oh, I said this is the same. Ask the musician. Oh. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. That guy's just standing on his to piano. Get married today. <laughs> See him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see if we can refresh it. Punch him, Five punch him. Five will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. Let's just pay him five dollars. Let's just pay him That's five dollars! She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wince is still at the freight station waiting for the stage coach. If you could convince her to take me back. Fine. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Well, you'll need more than talk with that bitch. Uh, I can I just give you five dollars? Armadillo's on the up. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Wait. Mm, pay him five dollars. I'll just pay you five dollars so that she doesn't have to be with you. Here. Because you're mean. This might loosen your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? Oh, he died. I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I guess. Uh, Odd Fellows Rest. Where is that? Oh, this is a bounty, right? Wanted poster. I want to get that. Let's get the bounty poster and then... Hold to view. Oh! $160 alive? Okay. Let's accept the bounty. Come on, horsey! Ready? Set. There he, she is. Okay, now on to odd the fellow's rest. Mm -hmm. I kind of like how the map was made in RDR1 because it's smaller. <laughs> I kind of remember with RDR2, I would just leave it on movie mode and just wait for me to get to my destination. This is it. Peter Turner. <gasps> Killed by a blow to the head on the 15th of January, 1894. He will never dance with another. Aww. Let no man put asunder. That's sad. Oh, so she really was just delusional. I feel bad for her now. Oh wait, another stranger mission. Oh, so many stranger missions. Okay, let's go to Bonnie first. Because I haven't done yeah. a mission with Bonnie for a long time. Since we already did two stranger. I'm tempted to go to the other stranger mission there, but... Maybe it can wait. It can wait after Bonnie. Come on, come I thought someone was attacking me. Hmm, I want I wanna be able to ride a horse in 
the future. I feel like it'd be fun. And then I just go super fast and ride off into the horizon. Mm -hmm. That sounds like the dream. Oh wait, I feel like I could just fast travel. <laughs> wait. I'm sorry, I feel like I should have just fast traveled. Oh, there! Travel to Waypoint! Dumbass! Oh my goodness! I should have... I didn't even know that's how the fast traveling works. That is gonna make my life so much easier. Come on! A tempest loose. Oh. oh, it's raining all of a sudden. Oh, come man, on, come on, let's go! Hey, Get him in there! Come I on, come on! I like the rain. Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're no need for name calling. Set. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. <laughs> Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Pastors who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. Get we have two herds out back. there in the what happened to them? We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm gonna save my voice for the herd. It's gonna be hard shouting over this storm. Okay, there they are. See them. I like how the screen has raindrops. There's boot! We have to stop the stampede! Do something! They're heading for the cliff! No! No! You guys are gonna fall! Shots in. 
We all. The burning. <sighs> Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come <sighs> on, let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. Same. Yeah! Same with me and my dad. Come on here. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably <laughs> right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Cute. 
Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago Whoa, now. He's five a high banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Hmm. Who's that over there? Where? Gee up! I feel Wait, like I could trust a man in a tie. Come on, tie. let's hurry! Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. Why are there so many I'll horses that, dying in this game? It makes me feel queasy. Yeah! Best. Watch out! What could have happened to those poor men? And the horses were dead, too. Yeah. It's kind of disturbing. Please stay close. I, I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? Oh my god! The barn's on fire! What? No way! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, it is! Let's go! Oh, 
That's crazy. Who, who could have done this? You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You... Well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, w w hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. <laughs> Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Aw, that's nice. Um, well... You get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. That's so good. I think she's starting to like me, though. I hope she doesn't. bounty thing again oh uh, do you lose it i didn't know that i didn't know you lose the bounty mission if you man that's a shame that's a real shame okay i guess we could do a stranger mission and then can go to set Three, two, one, and go. You don't stop right in front of me like in Cyberpunk. Come on, you can do better than that. Oh, I don't, I don't get... You never really got to name my horse, huh? We'll name him Steve. Steve the Stallion. Oh, wow, there's another stranger mission over here. What? You know me? Hello, John. John Marston. Who are you? Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her <gasps> brain was plastered over a wall. The fairy incident? The one Not where really. we gambled? Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine, he's drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. Okay. Well, I'm curious how this will f turn out. Thieves Landing. Where is Thieves Landing? Wow, that's pretty far, but... Okay. Oops. Oops. Don't tell me you've gone soft in your old age. Oh, I think we should just... Fast travel to... The waypoint. <laughs> Let's fast travel to the waypoint. Nice. 
This is pretty cool. It's gonna make things so much easier now. But I do worry though, if we fast travel, if it'll mess things up. I don't think so. Right? Well, we'll see. We're about to find out. Ah, there. Come on then, let's go! Oh, this must be the guy. Encourage the man, give discourage the man. <clears throat> Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look, don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Don't mention it. <laughs> That's on, so man. cool. That's it. Is that is that the scene? That's pretty cool. I know you complete. Nice. Oh, can we buy this property? Oh wait, no, if it's green you can't buy, you can just run it out. Okay, I guess we can go to... Ooh, another stranger mission. Hey, there's my horse. How far? You are going pretty far. Come on, come on! And then we will fast travel again to the waypoint. <laughs> wow, I wish Red Dead 2 had this feature. That's pretty cool. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Dowsing never rod? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth, uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. Oh, is he, like, a con no, man or something? No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes mm. sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. <laughs> they sure do. Damn fool. Can you imagine if a man with Bet a stick even know how was just walking around? <laughs> I'd you be... I'd him? probably... I mean, I wouldn't be mean to him, but I probably <laughs> would be on you know guard what? a bit. You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Mm. Then I can find the source of the water. Build us a proper wellspring. Okay. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> I don't trust someone who laughs like that. <laughs> I feel like they probably have... Oh, there we go. I feel like they probably have... Fast! What do you call this? Evil, an, an evil plan or some sort. Uh-oh. I used the word part. You now own a new horse. It will come when you whistle and appear. <gasps> what? What in the world did I just do? 
<laughs> Did I just accidentally trigger a horse? <gasps> My horse suddenly became black. What in the world? I want my old golden horse. Where's Steve? Steve was my horse. Gosh darn it. Oh, this was where we had the gunfight before. This is private property. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all oh. need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. <laughs> you know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200, I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Ooh, Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. That's where we already no, have sir. a farm, near there. Pay for the deed or take it by force. It's a bargain at twice the price. Oh, I mm, I want to give Clay two hundred dollars. Fine, let's just give him two hundred. Okay, I'll take it. Man, this is one. Well, it better be go, then, ours. Partner. Good luck out here. Man. Oh, okay. At least it's our house. House. <laughs> at least it's ours. Ours, I think. How oh, can I fast travel from here? Let me check it out. Change outfit, save game. Oh, you know what? Let me save the game. Because I need to save the game anyway before anything bad happens. in the world are you? Where is Steve? Or is that... Or are you Steve? You just turned yourself black. Yeah. What in the world, bro? What happened to my... To my dog? To my... What happened to my friend Steve? Wrong button. I keep pressing the screenshot button by accident. Let's just fast travel to it. <laughs> this is making this is making me progress way, way, way faster. I'm gonna have to Google how to get back my horse because I'm kind of like surprised I suddenly just got a horse without Whoa. having to buy it per se. Come on. Oh, there he is. Please tell me this is good news. Howdy. You got the deed? Yep. There it is. Hey! I'm sorry. Oh, here, buddy. Just hold on. All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Did... Oh, yeah, we got back our money. Yay. Wait, water and arms. But can we still sleep there? Oh, yeah, we can still sleep there. Oh, wait, no, that's Ridgewood Farm. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was really here, Calera Springs. Noise, rentable property, house. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's go on ahead and meet Seth now because I'm very curious as to who this Seth character is, really. There, the church is where it's at. You know what? I think I kind of remember this church from RDR2. Ask John already. Other fine hobbies. Is he a grave digger? Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. <laughs> I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. Oh. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. You haven't showered in six months? Ooh. What happened? My partner, he stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never! Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. Oh. And what I would do to him now. Why? He got betrayed. Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is? Where what is, friend? Oh. I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. Oh, man. He but needs Where's help. this Moses now? He's acting He's like a golem. The law got him for exhuming. Some people. They feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Nice. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses! They don't care none. These she people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you? Yeah, he's kind of. Yeah, he's very special. All their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. 
Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. I think he's... he's... he's something. Seth is a special something. That's for sure. Uh, have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. Oh my You're goodness. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. Oh. I don't. I can't oh. even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. Yeah. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Okay, let's go do this map. Let's go finish this map. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. <laughs> oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, <laughs> but now... I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me. You know? Maybe it's time oh you moved goodness. on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. Just darkness. I want to see the sunshine again. Fly! Fly! All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. Whoa. This Seth know, character is really something. Shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Whew, okay. I think we're just gonna kill them. <laughs> or not, because they're officers, right? Yeah, they're officers. <clears throat> Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Go. Oh. Okie dokie. This is one god awful assignment. Steal a deputy's horse to this become place one. This is better than a side of bacon. Stay away from them animals. Them's Your horse, horse shall rain on you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have mini crash over the salt. Oh my gosh, wait! I forgot about that. But the bounty remains on your head. What? Are you serious? Now I have to pay for my bounty. That's cool. I 
guess it's okay. Well, maybe Seth will help me pay for my bounty. Best. Did I go back to the scene of the crime? Hurry up! I need to go find that man. Oh, there you go. Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. What the heck? I thought he already did what he had to do. Moses? Oh, Moses! You got a visitor. Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Oh. Get the hell away from me! Oh my god. Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! Don't trust Seth! He's sick in the mind! Yeah! God damn you! There we go. Let me go! It. I'm begging you! Carry you victim. You son of a bitch, let me go! <laughs> Everyone keeps cursing at me. Like, I'm just trying to do what I have Whatever to do. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. To get Bill. think you are, mister? You just wait till I get loose, mister. We'll split it between us, just me and you. Here it is. It's mine now. You hear me, Moses? Mine. <laughs> Mine. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir! <laughs> damn you, sir! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece! <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Oh, that can't be a Friend, pink dagger, right? Oh. I suggest you take my advice and start <laughs> talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. Oh, he's like a serial killer. Odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. Crazy sight. Oh my goodness, he peed I think himself. You pissed yourself, Moses. No way. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on, we can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh. Uh. Best we deal with this now, mister. Company set to the telegraph office. Your bounty shown in the top right indicates that you are a target of bounty hunters. Okay. To pay off the bounty, visit the telegraph office. Oh, all right. Body was found near Go speak to that fella. Let's get this over with. Pay off bounty. Oh, 
Give pardon letter. Let's give it pardon. Hello there. Hurry up. up, will you? We got more important business to attend to. That crazy Mary. Nice. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. Cool. I think I like Seth. He's a, he's a special little nut. But he's a good nut. <laughs> That's what matters. Oh, wait. There's one more stranger mission. <gasps> well, I want to go to this one because it's the farther one. Climb right up. Nice to see another sentient being out here. Name's Sam. Sam Odessa. But anyway, that's the name they gave my grandpappy when he came across New York City. Good to meet you, Sam Odessa. I'm John Marston. You long way from home? Where you come from? Yeah, yeah well, it would be if I had a home to come from. I've been out here for several weeks or several generations. How could you be there for several generations for just one? Generation. Way ways back. Trying to get to California. See the ocean. <laughs> I hear it's wet. From the Black Sea to the Pacific in three generations. I'm gonna make something of myself there. I'm gonna find something. Here they got a fine line of earthquakes out there. Maybe you can find one of them. <laughs> Listen, Gap Tooth ain't so friendly to strangers. I suggest you head back to Benedict Point before you run afoul one of these gangs that runs out of here. Well, thank you very much for the kind advice, Mr. Marston. I appreciate it. Let me go get me on a coach. Or a train, right? <laughs> Though you completely well, sure the starts not over, I would say you only talk to him in the future. Okay. All right, let's do one more stranger mission and then we'll call it an episode. So we have Ridgewood Farm. I'm guessing that's... Oh, strange. The stranger missions disappeared. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go talk to Marshall, to the Marshall then. Or actually we could talk to Wes Dickens. to the stranger missions huh weird okay well let's go to your twitch farm uh -huh. 
There we go. Rich wood farmer. Come back between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. What? All right, let's go get some rest first. Cheats and other proud. It's raining. Ah, uh, Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, interesting fellow. Super you don't interesting meet fellow. Many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> oh, very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. <laughs> what you are dear boy is the man whose life i've saved twice now a man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people a man who if he doesn't help me i won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull feeding Whoa, the vultures myself oh, you see mr marston you have the exterior of a violent man but the soul of an angel and that is what i think i cherish most about you <laughs> well yeah he is pretty thought. gentle uh, but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, uh, that lubricant with which we concern ourselves uh, is money. <laughs> money? What are you talking about? Money. Oh. We want money. We need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon, extra hands, and I need some danger money. Danger so, money. Let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. The sport of kings. Exactly. The kind of. Activity. I like how John just balanced all three of those lying, traits. cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of my grandfather. I love it. Now, sir, do that toothbreach. Oh, wait. I... Right shot then. All right. Let's listen to the conversation because you guys Seth did recommend an interesting me fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting or deeply disturbed. Deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for like spots and little jets of the connection with him more like. You and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. <laughs> oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. No. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. 
Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. <laughs> we stole from those who had too much. Like Just Robin Hood? those who had too little. Get Robin Hood with spurs. Oh. oh, romantic. You're expecting to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, I'm sit kind of down, I'm my boy. You need yet. to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. That's such a good, like, I'm glad I didn't skip the destination. That was a cool conversation that I was with. Oh. We must talk about the race. You heard me. Yes, the race. Oh, come on. Time to purge that negativity and start thinking like a winner. You're going to have a whale of a time. They've been holding these chariot races in New Austin for as long as I can remember. And we need the money. Why aren't you racing then? Me? Oh, no. Not my thing at all. You have already proved yourself more than adept at the reins, my dear boy, and under some stress. These races are Byzantine in their ferocity, and the terrain is treacherous. People will do just about anything to win. Men die. It's a marvelous spectator sport. <laughs> like Men fun. die, and he wants you to join. Are my wild card, John? They won't be expecting you. So what's your role in all this? Think of me as your spiritual guy. <laughs> do I have to? You are a free man, of course, but I strongly recommend it. Imagine, just for today, you are not an aging bounty hunter, and I am not an avant-garde business pioneer. No, sir. Today, we are gladiators. Motivation, dear boy. I'm definitely feeling motivated to get the hell out of here. Wait, no, it's their. Oh, I thought they, I thought they were gang down. members. Gap two, three. Easy does it. Get on the cart to start the race. Okay. Which cart? Oh, man. Okay, let's drive. It's a good thing I saved before this, huh?
my gosh. That's a close one. Kind of risky. Hell of a race, mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat. The on West Dickens stage for ride shotgun. Nice. Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Bye <laughs> by me. Isn't that fantastic? The tears of the crowd. Yeah, that was that was a pretty fun wheels. level. The falling rocks. Homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the <laughs> yeah, friendliest bunch, kind of they? they take the racing very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely pre approved. That was clear. Ah, sport born heartache. <laughs> The guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, I don't get that metaphor. Some <laughs> grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. 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 Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? <laughs> that doesn't seem very safe. <laughs> oh man, I hope he's a good drunk at least. What? I just got three dollars from that? That's bull. <sighs> anyway, I guess I'm gonna end today's episode on that. That was such a fun... I think I'm happy I ended the episode with that uh, mission. It was so fun, the race, and... I'm just happy I got a whole... I remembered about my horse's stamina before... I mean, in the middle, before... Like, right when it started. Anyway, as always, if you guys like this video, or if you guys have any other tips for me, or if you guys love Cowboys and Red Dead Redemption as much as I do, do hit the like button and leave a comment down below if you guys have any other tips. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.